the wonderful thing in a musician's life is to always learn new repertoire, uh, to learn more contemporary repertoire, but also learn more of the standard repertoire. You, you, you have never finished, you know, these studies. Um, as challenging as that is, and as necessary for me in order to feel challenged and fresh and, you know, learn, change, develop, hopefully, it also is wonderful to go back to pieces you have played ages ago, <laughs> literally in the last century. And uh, Debussy is one of the pieces. Um, a sonata which is very dear to my heart. Debussy, who was the most revolutionary composer at the beginning of, of the last century, when he wrote Pelias and Melisande, that really changed the world. A man who very much reminds me of Monet. And I remember when I, whenever I'm teaching uh, the Debussy sonata to my scholars, we go to the museum and look to Monet because of two things, the colors and the Japanese influence. Okay. Monet was a great collector of Japanese art. And Debussy had this Japanoism in his, in his music, which is, uh, which is very unique. Um, that was the last piece, his sonata, which was completed before he died. He already was sick of cancer. And it is a very dark piece. It's very melancholic. Um, and this is paired with Brahms D minor, mm -hmm. which is pretty much the opposite. Although D minor is a, is a dark uh, and dramatic um, key, um, the D minor, which is the third of the uh, Brahms sonatas, which have been written over a period of eight years, and actually Brahms had sketches for three sonatas before he even seriously started with one. Um, this is like a violin, a piano concerto. Um, it's so exuberant, it's so driven. Um, a wonderful contrast to the Debussy. After the uh, break, we will hear the F major, the never officially published uh, late sonata of Mendelssohn from um, 1838, which is very exuberant, where we have this Midsummer Night's Dream-ish last movement uh, with a most beautiful second movement. Actually, I have grown to love Mendelssohn much, much more over the last years. And Mendelssohn is, for me, um, a revelation, a composer which is relatively new in my in my um, list of very beloved ones. And we are finishing off with something fun, uh, the Carmen Fantasy, which is uh, um, an ad adaptation, of course, of uh, Bizet's opera by Sarasate, one of the great virtuosis uh, of, of the past times, a man who I admire a lot. So it's just, just wonderful to, to include a piece which is purely virtuosic, which is very joyful, but which is also a reference to the great violinists of the past.